Okay. Now we're in winner's quarters. We're playing bracket. This is for real. This is Lima, the Bayonetta that you know and love up against Caesar. Uh, some a, a local Texas player who you might not know as much because he doesn't get to come out to Shockwaves as often as many would like. So I actually think last week Caesar... Caesar did get to come out last week. Yes. No, no, no. I think last week he beat um, Lima's Rosa. It was Oryx. Was it Oryx? Yeah, it was, it was Oryx because he beat. I think the... they played. I think he played Caesar. He, he had, yeah, I guess he lost. I guess he beat Caesar. I remember he lost last week because Rosa. I still remember against who. It was against Oryx for sure. Okay. Oh, it's very rare when Lima loses. I'm just like, hmm. yeah. Ooh. But Lima real good. Oh wait. Oh. I totally thought they were hammering. Oh no. <laughs> I was just like, they're not interacting. They're playing weird, far away. Yeah. Jeez. See, normally Caesar's a very aggressive Sonic player, mm -hmm. so I can see why you would think yeah, that. Yeah, usually he's just running in people's faces, abusing Spin Dash, but Lima knows how to punish Spin Dash yeah. so well. Lima has a lot of experience with Curry, our local Sonic player. Ooh. I say a lot. He doesn't mm. get to play against him as often as one would like, but man. Well, my bad. That was really good. That was just such a weird set. I was just like, man, I've never seen Caesar this defensive or just like I never keep see... away. Lima getting witch time combos on Sonic in particular, because almost any time he gets a witch time that I see, it's against Curry going for spin dash, and he immediately cancels an air dodge, and he's floating free falling the whole yeah, time. Maybe Caesar's in the tech yet. Maybe. But Caesar's barely spin dashing. Also true. Yeah, you, I think it's because of last week. I remember he was getting punished. He was getting blown up because a, a lot of people Caesar was playing against we're respecting Spin Dash far too much and not punishing the option. Lima's not afraid to punish that. Lima knows how to punish these options. Oh, forcing out the Ooh. the jump there. Oh, gross. Great punish, though, by Caesar. Trying to get out with the spring jump. Actually connecting the down air there. And Caesar got some good damage on right now. Yeah, he is getting that percent. Finally connecting the Spin Dash. Is Lima, though, getting these combo extensions, catching the spring jump there. When finding the backer over here on the right, not going to get in the stock yet. But look at him go so high, he knows like what that. Caesar's going for. So he saw that Caesar had already mm. used his jump, so he wanted to catch the high spring. Yep. Unfortunately, wasted his resources, did not manage them well enough to make it back. Probably was banking on saving a triple jump and maybe missed the input. Yep. Man, that was so good. I love how just aware he was, and just like, you know, especially at this level, right? This level of Bayonetta, you know they're going to have their witch time confirms just ready, always. What I really like about, uh, that I've learned from playing the character a little bit more, is uh, I love when they get the witch time, and then they go for the witch twist one, just to set up so that they have witch twist two access afterwards. Because mm -hmm. that move combos into Yoka moves much better than witch twist one. Witch twist one normally just combos into like, uh, after burner, after -burner kick. kick. Kind of sends them really far away. Good for edge guarding, not so much for the killing. Great take there from Lima to keep himself alive. Caesar getting a bit more aggressive here, getting a lot more damage. The pick up there from Lima, almost catching the spring jump as well. Oh, with the oh, whistles. Oh, the jabs were coming. Super unfortunate there for Caesar, but what That's awareness from Lima. That's the Super for. Super Bit Wars 4. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, super super bit bit wars wars four. four.